Um, Mary Kay Cabot with the report, John, over the weekend, that the Browns have no plans to cut Baker Mayfield. Uh, does that mean they have plans to trade him or just sit on the contract that they have and hope that he doesn't get hurt whenever he actually does report? Yeah, they've got no, they've got nothing they can do about this. Everybody is on the edge of their seat waiting to see what the uh, investigator for the NFL turns over to the person that makes the decision on the suspension. And then the next person decides who somebody Goodell will appoint so he can wash his hands of it, whether to stick to that or reduce it. And the fact is, it's got to come pretty soon. And Watson will work his tail off. People kind of forget. They don't forget, but sometimes they don't realize he hadn't played in two years. He wants to play. He wants to practice. He wants to go through every single drill because Watson's a very competitive player, and he knows the Browns put him in the closest position he's ever been in to go to the Super Bowl, re-signing Jadavion Clowney was a really good move for them. Takes pressure off Miles Garrett. He had nine sacks last year, one half off his career high with the Texans. So I think the Browns are in really good shape. And whenever Watson is able to play, he will be ready to go. He will hit the ground running. And I think this time next year, maybe they will have gone to court. Maybe they'll have it settled. Who knows? I think there won't be 22 civil suits heard during the next offseason, but at least he knows that's just about his reputation, not about his on-field productivity, because people know he'll be there for 17 games. Is there any scenario, John, where the league comes down and says Deshaun Watson's got a one-year suspension, let's say, and Baker Mayfield is the quarterback for the Browns for one year while Deshaun Watson is suspended? Is that even... (laughs) a remote possibility. I feel odd even asking the question if that could be the case, but if some decision comes down and they have not traded him yet, they're saying they're not going to cut him. Do they say, all right, well, show up. You're going to be our quarterback this year while Deshaun Watson is suspended. That's not going to happen. That's why they traded for Jacoby Brissett. They know there's a lot of bad blood in that organization, not just with Mayville, but This is something people have pointed out multiple times. Nobody that we know of in the organization, no players, no coaches have defended Mayfield and said, hey, the guy did a great job. We love him. We hope don't want to lose him or wish him the best. They just haven't reacted to any of the controversy that's that he's created. So I don't think for a minute he's going to be playing for the Browns now. If he were, and they're on national TV, that would be must-see TV after everything that's gone on. Now, if Watson suspended for a year, whoo, boy, Chadillac, that would be more than anybody's anticipating. But if baseball wants to get tough like – I mean, football wants to get tough like baseball did with Trevor Bauer, who's been out for two seasons. That's the kind of thing they could do. And if Goodell wanted to be a hero, they could do it for a year and him knock it down to, say, 10 games. But everybody's on the edge of their seat. We want to know how many is it going to be and will the appeal work? There's one thing we hadn't talked about uh, necessarily. Their schedule is soft early. Panthers, Jets. Steelers, Falcons, Chargers not soft, Patriots, Ravens, Bengals, Dolphins. Do do uh we think that they shape their schedule a little bit so that uh if Deshaun Watson's not there, when Deshaun Deshaun Watson is not there, they don't suffer as badly. All the guys that put out the schedule said it was a mere coincidence (laughs) that they scheduled Watson in Houston on December 4th had nothing to do with the possibility of an extension. Well, we know that's preposterous. Of course, it had something to do with it. And you're right. The teams that you just mentioned early in the season, that's a cream puff schedule. And then it gets tough a little later. Uh, Jacoby Brissett's bounced around. He's been a starter. They're not going to be awful with him. They do play in a tough division. The Texans hope they lose every game that Watson's out because they have their number one pick again next season. But I think that, yes, that had something to do with it. And if they say it didn't, they're lying. 
John, I want you to defend your market here a little bit, Houston. Every time we bring this up with you, I am amazed by the amount of people who respond and say, do you guys really think anyone cares about Deshaun Watson's return to Houston or playing the Texans outside of Houston? That's one of the worst games of the year. People will say it's not a national game and no one cares. I disagree with these people. I think that it is a big story. What do you think, John, when you hear that? I think it's a big story. I think anything Watson does this season is going to be a big story because he's a great quarterback. What he's done is unprecedented in NFL history, getting 22 different women accuse him of sexual assault and misconduct. And um, he's been in the limelight nationally now for almost two years. And people seem to forget he had a great last season here. They traded DeAndre Hopkins. They were coming off the division title, a playoff victory over Buffalo. They trade him. And then all of a sudden, Watson is even better without Hopkins. So I think it's big news, whoever he plays. But I think people are going to be curious when he plays the Texans because it's kind of like driving past a wreck. And you look over there because you're curious off to the side, see if anybody's been hurt. And I think it will attract a lot of attention. I was surprised, John, that Thursday Night Football didn't choose that game, uh, Texans-Browns, because the billion-dollar contract that they have and the hype that will go into that week. Um, I mean, whoever said is criticizing us for discussing it. I mean, they're right in thinking that it's not a nationally televised game. It's a afternoon on a Sunday. Uh, but it will be... It'll be covered more than any national game that week, and that includes Bills Patriots. That is the Thursday night game. That's a great game. But as far as the magnitude and the environment around Watson returning, uh, that's the pregame show I would be wanting to tune into and watch the warmups for, and watch Al Michaels and and Kirk Herbstreit uh, discuss. I mean that that was the one national broadcast I, I assumed would want to pick up this matchup, and they chose not to. I guess they thought we're limited on the number of games we can put the Browns on nationally and Watson could be suspended. So if Watson's there all season, the Browns will get the maximum number of games because they're already a popular franchise, not just all over the country, but they got a lot of fans at different parts of the world and they're thinking, okay, Texans aren't going to draw anybody. So if we're going to put the Browns on, let's do it with somebody that has more appeal uh, nationally, but I do think people are going to pay attention in the buildup, and it's going to be boring because Watson's not going to say squat. And I think the Texans will be very, very careful of what they say. But the game itself, I can't wait. 